Hello everyone, this is Ravi. So today this is a fundamental tutorial talking about the uh, color of instances within geometry nodes. Note that in the past I've discussed this topic in geometry nodes 3.0 and uh, at that time I used the presets. I explained it was almost impossible without a horrible workaround so I provided all these kind of presets. Okay. Today we're going to repeat this tutorial because this is 3.1 and the workflow has been changed. In this tutorial, we're not going to use presets because it's not necessary. Everything becomes so much easier. So how the workflow has been changed exactly is the topic that we are going to discuss. So let's start. So here we are in Blender and this is a pretty simple setup that I have a grid and I instance my cube onto each point of this grid. I also add a set of material node, otherwise this kind of cube instances cannot carry the material. So here, right now, I can just change these kind of colors, so all the cubes are changing the same color, okay? However, there is no randomness. Just so you know that if you just want this randomness, then you can use the object info node. There is a random socket. You can plug it into the base color and immediately you have this result being done. Okay. This method can be used in 3.0, but the issue of this method is that you cannot have a lot of control over that because it's completely random. At the maximum, the only thing you can do is to use a white noise so that you can output a different colors and uh, if you use a math node, then you can change the seed and so on and so forth. But that's the maximum thing that you can do. You cannot really control how colors are being changed and other things, okay? Here, I want to remind you that this method only works when you are outputting the instances. So, for example, if you are trying to realize the instance for whatever reason, then you immediately lose all this kind of random color because there is no instances. So you are only outputting a single random value, a single seed, a single random color. And at the maximum, you can only change all this kind of color, but there is no random color from cube to cube. Okay, so you must not realize instances. Okay. Uh, last time, uh, I was uh, making an example that I want to have a kind of a spherical form and only for the cubes within this fold should change their color, okay? This time, we would like to do the same, basically having more controls within all these kind of color changes within geometry nodes, okay? Last time, we used a horrible workaround in order to transfer the attribute to each instance. This time, we are just going to use the capture attribute in the domain, uh, in the instance domain, okay? So this is a new features within 3.1. So we still need to do the evaluation of this within this fold. You can use the geometry proximity or other things. Um, it's, it's something that has been explained, but I do not really would like to construct a horrible node tree for this. So I'm still going to use the preset. But this is not really the topic today. The topic today is really about how to get a different colors or controlling the colors according to the mask or other things. So you do not need to worry about this node. On the other hand, you can download this node for free from the link in the description, okay? So let's lock this interface because I'm going to uh, input an object. So we're going to use this empty to control this kind of spherical fold, okay? So ideally speaking, I should uh, be able to output this attribute and uh, within the modifier panel, let's just uh, name the attribute as a C. So within material, let's use this C attribute and plug that our plug that into the base color. Okay. So immediately you can see everything turns to be dark, okay. black color, but there is no white color, even if these kind of cube are within the area of my fold. Okay. So something's wrong. Uh, this is a kind of unfortunate issue that although developer calls the instance domain and allowing all this kind of instance to carry all this kind of attribute as you can see from the spreadsheet, okay, 
but the render engine cannot really recognize this attribute on the instance. Okay, so the render engine has to be coded differently. So lots of things need to be done into the render engine, and so far it hasn't been done for 0.1. Okay, which actually means that we still need to realize the instance. Uh, I know this is unfortunate, but there is no other way. So you still need to realize the instance, and once you realize the instance, immediately everything is being done. So it's just kind of very simple. Remember last time we were using a lot of presets um, to deal with this kind of transfer attribute and so on and so forth. But at this time we just need to capture attribute on the instance domain. Everything has been solved. Okay. So this is kind of very cool, despite the fact that you still need to realize the instance. But Definitely, I suppose this will be improved in 3.2, or I hope. Okay. Uh, another thing that uh, if you just want to have a random color, uh, although previously I've already explained the method to give a random color, but uh, what you can also do is to use a random value, take a, or actually you can use the white noise, almost a four. You can take a white noise and plug the value. It'll basically do the same. Uh, you can also use the color and take the color. So output must also be an color. So let's take the color attribute. It's completely okay. So another thing that you can potentially do is that there is a mesh island. Okay. And there is an island index. So you can use the island index even after you realize that. So right now, let's take this island index. So this is also a way to give random color even after you realize the instance. Because there are some moments that you need to realize the instance and previously mentioned that uh, object info method won't work. So these are different cases that you can give a random color or having more controls within geometry nodes. But basically that's it. So I hope it's not an overwhelming tutorial for that. And I hope geometry nodes can improve even further in 3.2. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll probably see you next time. Bye-bye.